What's up, everyone? We have another Kubi, and this was sent in from my buddy Dave over at This Old Blade Sword Reviews. Excuse me, I will put a link to his channel down below, as always. Um, he was super gracious enough to send in eight different Kubis, and he just reached out to me last night and said, Hey, by the way, one he had already told me he wanted me to keep, and he said, By the way, keep these other ones. Uh, and either give them away, sell them, give them to Patreon people, all that. So I don't have a Patreon, so I'm going to come up with something. Um, I think there's a couple of people that have reached out to me that are looking to get into knives. I may just help them out by gifting them a new knife. Um, so, but uh, the, the generosity of Dave has been incredible. I think he's given me... Uh, two or three knives personally, and then now three knives or so for the channel. Um, it's just awesome. Like, I never expect that when people loan things in. Like, uh, you know, that's how I keep the channel going. People are loaning stuff in all the time. And sometimes I'm like, dude, that's really awesome. I have bought some from a few people, and Dave has given a few. So, Kudos to Dave. Go check him out, please. If for nothing else, just go subscribe him. Just just to help his numbers and watch a couple of his videos just due to his kindness and generosity. Um, plus, he has a wealth of knowledge. Man, he's been in this game a long time. And he just knows he's forgotten more than I know, probably, about the knife community. So, a super great resource. All right. Let's dive into this Kubi, which is the KU-151. This is not one of the ones he let me keep. This is one he wants back, by the way. Um, so this is 4 and 7 eighths inch closed, 8 and 3 eighths overall, 3.62 inch blade, 3.5 cutting edge. It is D2 steel, 0.156 thick. Overall thickness is 0.571. It does run on ceramic bearings, as all the Kubis do. Not super drop shut, but just because it's on bearings it does not mean it's going to drop shut. Uh, and it weighs in at 4.2 ounces. You can use that uh, hole as an opening. And I think maybe you cannot. Well, maybe you can, but I cannot spidey flick it, at least not here semi-live on camera. <laughs> I always worry about trying things like that that I haven't practiced before because inevitably it turns out that way. So this one, I understand why he wants it back because it is a super great blacked, stonewashed, tumbled finish and an awesome green G10 with black hardware. I mean, they did such a fantastic job on this one. It's crazy. I think there is a little inside there. There's a little something, but I think that's dust. It's hard to, I think that's some, some fluff in there. Um, but the black clip, black hardware, D2, a little bit of oil in there still. I mean, just a wicked nice job. This is a liner lock. And did they do any milling? I forgot to check that. Internal milling to help with the weight. Uh, yeah, so it's a skeletonized liner, which is very cool. On both sides, there's a little bit of skeletonizing on the lock side as well, which is also very cool. I mean, they did a fantastic job. This one fits great in the hand. You can easily choke up on this one little bit of an upswept blade. I'm not a huge Persian bladed guy, but this doesn't fit into that category. This is just slightly, I don't know, I'm not even sure I would call that upswept, but just a very nice utilitarian, easy in the pocket, um, and a matching green G10 backspacer, which I absolutely love that green and black kind of layered pattern there looks fantastic. So let's jump into some size comparisons with the Sharpie. And I love the black blade because it plays well with my lighting, which I'm still playing with a little bit. It's a brand new LED light panel over there. 
it wasn't cheap, but I think I can make it work as I kind of play with the positioning. That was the Spider Codelica. The Holt Spectre. The new to me Quiet Carry Waypoint. I've done a video on one previously. I may or may not do another video on this one. It's just the black handled version that I got from my buddy Alex at Alex's Knife Box. And the Hellraiser P-Series. Again, a little bit unusual shape. And yeah, slightly unusual shape. <laughs> but yeah, thanks Dave again for loaning this in, for gifting me some of the other uh, knives that you did send in. That That's just so generous. I'm so touched by that, that, uh, yeah, thank you. I, I can't say thank you enough. And my viewers will say thank you too once I do figure out a way to kind of give them away and, and do that. So thank you for paying it forward, sir, as always. Uh, keep up the great work, Dave. Please, everybody, go check out Dave's channel and be sure to come back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.